Okay, everybody, so <clears throat> hope you're doing well. Uh, this is a general announcement. First, of course, let me not get ahead of myself. I need to start by saying, please, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying socially distant. I hope that you're staying healthy. I hope that you're staying home. And I hope you're avoiding all public places and all public gatherings. Probably talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, maybe another video. But <clears throat> this is a general announcement that uh, is going up to both my AP language and my public speaking class. And it's about the office hours that I want to start making myself available for. So uh, I figure that one of the best things I could do in order to make myself as accessible as possible is to simply set up a time uh, during the day, a couple of days a week, where I, you could contact me in as direct a form as possible. So what I'm thinking now is I will have a, like a two hour chunk, uh, a couple of days a week, where the only thing that I'm going to do is simply just sit in front of my computer, have a Google Meet uh, video conference room open, and I'll post the join code for that Google meeting, for that Google Meet conference room to my Google Classroom, so that if during that time, during the day, you want to talk to me, I'll be there. You just get that join code using Google Hangouts Meet and it should be pretty easy to work. So, you know, you could do this from your phone, you could do it from a computer, right? So I'll just be in front of my computer. Maybe I'll be working on some stuff by myself, but if somebody pops in, then I can talk to you. Now, as far as what that means, talk to you, it's gonna be work-related. So what are we gonna talk about? Well, for public speaking, we'll be talking about things like your outline. Uh, if you need some instant feedback, it's an awesome way. Uh, we'll be talking about things like, you know, if you're having trouble with anything in particular, if you're stuck, uh, we can talk about, you could get, you could, you could ask me questions, you could, pose ideas to me and I could just give you my thoughts on all of that. It's also a pretty good way, I think, for us to just check in with each other because I think we all need that. Just frequent check-ins with people who are important to us. Uh, so consider doing that on your own also with your friends and family. If you haven't already, I bet a lot of you already have. So uh, I'm going to bring you down to this tabletop, desktop to show you my schedule. This is the school schedule. Remember those days? School schedule. But I have a schedule down here where I listed my office hours and I'll bring you back down to a, a tabletop angle so I can tell you exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, as far as the AP course goes, what does the office hours mean? Well, let's just say you're working on an, a, a, your essay, right? And you want some instant feedback on that. I could do that for you. Or if you're stuck, or if you want to know if this particular strategy is good enough to use for this particular body paragraph, right? That would be a good time to do it. So I figure setting up a couple times a week, like a two hour chunk each day, of office hours would give us the opportunity to interact and to and so that I could give you that instant feedback that you might feel like you need. Let's switch this angle around here. First of all, uh, I just gotta say I really miss all of you. Period two, I miss all of you. Period three, I miss all of you. Period five, miss all of you. Period six, miss all of you. Period nine, miss all of you. All right, let's talk about my office hours. So again, this is tentative, but this is what I'm coming up with right now. So if things will change, of course, I'll let you know. First and foremost, I think what I'll do is I'll do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, all right? So uh, I'll be in front of my computer at 10 until 12. And if you wanna pop in, what I'll do is I'll give you a, I'll post to my Google Classroom, the Google Meet Join, Google Hangouts Meet, I don't know what it's called, uh, join code. It'll be posted to my Google Classroom before the session begins. I'm not sure. Maybe five minutes before the session begins, maybe 10 minutes before the session begins. I'm not sure. All right. And so what do you do? You pop in for instant feedback on your work, right? Uh, you can ask me questions. You, we could chat a little bit, right? You know. 
keep it work related, school related. Uh, but in general, we could also just do general check ins. Uh, you know, I'd like to just hear about how you're doing. Uh, and I'm thinking as far as, you know, dividing it up between my two classes as of now, I think it might work if I use the, and again, you know, this is tentative. From 10 to 11, I'll schedule that for primarily my AP language students. So, you know, it, would make, it wouldn't make sense for my public speaking students to be joining the chat, uh, the, the video conference at the same time as my AP Lang students, because you never know if there's, you know, a bunch of AP Lang students in there and they all have similar questions. That's good. That's like, you know, killing multiple stones with multiple birds, right? All right, as far as uh, the 11 to 12 time slot, that I'll, I'll reserve for my public speaking students, okay? So, you know, maybe, I don't know, what do you want to do? Take a screenshot of this? I don't know. It's here. You can just watch it again. I hope this makes sense. And I hope it's going to be helpful. So, I hope that makes sense. Uh, please don't think that that's going to be the only way that you can access me if, if you need to talk about something. Uh, as usual, Remind is, the, you know, shooting me a text message through Remind is probably the, the best and the quickest and the easiest way for us to maintain a correspondence. But I also want to have this as an option too. And I, I hope that some of you take advantage of it. I hope, that, I hope that a lot of you take advantage of it. And I hope that it's helpful. I gotta, I gotta eat something, but I also gotta plan some new lessons. So coming up for my public speaking class, you'll be hearing soon about effective slideshows. And for AP Lang, we're gonna get a little bit more into the essay writing. In particular, I wanna show you a strategy for writing introductions. So hope you're doing well.